Yo, what's good, everybody? My name is Holden Stefan Roy, and this is Behind That Suit Reviews, and this is the second show review in this current round of me going out and trying to socialize now that we're allowed to leave and go out and be amongst people. So make sure to catch the first episode in this series where I talked about the cipher. But then today we're going to be talking about to the show I went to the day after Le Cypher, which is Jay Noir's secret location super dope event with a bunch of performers. Now, when I say super dope event, I mean this guy was up in Shamadi, like Shamadi Laval, and we went up there. Okay, I'm not going to lie. CB Mac, homeboy, came all the way down to NDG, picked me up, drove me to Shamadi. It was nice. We got there. We rolled up together. You can check that right here. Yes, you saw a little bit of footage of us together. I don't know. It might be that you see the footage now and I'm fixing this in editing because, you know, I wanted to cut out the copyrighted music that was being played at the time we got there. But, yo, it's a vibe. We get there. So CB Mac drove me up there. It made it a bit better. But I want to point out that at a ticket price of $30, I would take the bus to go to this show. I would possibly even Uber home, but more than likely leave at last Metro kind of thing. That's more the honest vibe of this. But still was worth going all the way down there. Now, that says a lot for me and my NDG self to actually admit that going to Shamadi, and it was one of the latest experiences I've had at an independent local live event. Now, this may be in due to a couple of things. Let's say masks weren't necessarily being so enforced as strictly at this private party type event, which is a little different than the public show. It had a more welcoming kind of atmosphere in these days if you catch my drift i don't want to say it outright but let's say not everything was being asked for in the typical way so that may have just attracted people but it felt like this great unity was going on i'm gonna say that there was a large number of people that showed up in the event where if you wanted to ever question a success now this was a very very successful event on that note we walk in not a lot of people is there because we like to get there early, leave early. That's how our old selves be. And they greet us and they're like, yo, as you can see on the screen, take this, take this shot in a spoon. It's this ice shot that was sponsoring the event. So this was free. They kind of let you keep having these ice shots all night long. I know I had five of them. I know that I had two of them when I got there. Guy encouraged me. Me and CB Mac got a little ice shots. I, 20, 30 minutes later, was feeling the ice shots, and I started to have some more ice shots. Um, at a certain point, the performances started. It filled out. I mean, I, it was cool, man. I saw a bunch of people I knew. It was a nice vibe. Then the performances were great. Um, I only have a couple I'm going to show you just due to the fact that I got a little faded. I was a little doing my thing, and I spent a fair bit of time outside in what I'm going to call the smoking area. So one of the caveats to this event in order to keep it lower key is you couldn't go outside the front and like congregate. Um, you had to go into this like back patio area, like the patio area for a restaurant. And it was kind of just blocked off and they just kind of let you go there. So it was, it was dope. You couldn't leave, but you could go hang out over there. And it was kind of better than being outside. I really like those enclosed smoking outside areas. They're just a vibe to me. So I did spend a fair bit of time out there and I missed some, uh, filming of people, but yo, I caught the first performance was this dude. sorry i don't really remember the name of it but then not long after that it was really cool because the homeboy soul i am came on and he was joined by handro so you can catch a little clip of that and yo other performances were happening um it was a really cool thing i really enjoyed the performances of ray deville and 80 80 somebody 80 it was really cool it was just overall really a fun vibe you can see over here somebody started throwing fake money or real money whatever who cares i grabbed a couple singles because like i just wanted to compare them with the i know it's real money i had at home and even if it's fake it's cool enough i could say you could pass that off to susceptible people whoever made this money did a very good job if it's not legitimate if not it's cool i felt like it was a fun little souvenir and it added to the charm i was drunk don't blame me for getting excited about corny shit um another great part of it was 
was that the Flakes artist was there, and you can kind of just catch a bit of sense of her vibe. I had a cool conversation with her. She added a whole element because on top of it, just kind of having the regular artistry, you had this like little station with the frozen shots. You had exotic seven ups over in the next corner, and it kind of just these little things added to the charm of it. So it's a combination of it's been forever since anybody went out to a large number of people in the room to, you know, overall little perks that made it really an engaging enjoyable and i'm not gonna lie pretty unforgettable night because i mean when i spent that 30 dollars for a tickets i just thought i was going to show love but now nah, i ended up having a wonderful effing time so yeah that's all i gotta say about that if you see jnr doing his thing um evidently they got their shit unlocked into a point where that was quite a good night i hope for the best for future events you can be sure to catch me at them if i'm able but if i'm able is a big word because yo sometimes like <laughs> these things got to be on nights where i don't be working the next day like i saw dj blaster's birthday party is happening um or it may have happened already but it was at like 9 p.m or start time and i'm like oh and i see events like that and it's hard but i'm gonna make that effort to try to hit at least two to three things a month film some stuff let you know what i thought about it and and do my end to try to show the people that the english montreal hip-hop scene got a lot to say on that note everyone let me know if you liked the video down in the comments like it you know subscribe to the channel for more content let me know who you want to interview music's is coming links in the description all that good stuff and live long and prosper everyone